Good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to the official launch of the inaugural Gauteng Women in Sport Awards. I'll be your host this morning, Lebo Motswedi, and I'm really excited about this one because it is a project and an idea, a thought, a vision that began over lunch. I was not even sure what was happening at that particular time. Am I sure now? It's still, I'm still left really in awe of Munira's work. And we'll be getting into the history of it a little bit later. But just to get the formalities out of the way, I'd like us to just welcome this morning the various dignitaries that are joining us. Uh, Luandi de Similane Sascox, first vice president and chairperson of the Gender Equality Commission at Sascox. She will be also giving us uh, a thought or two on uh, what to expect and what has been of the Gauteng Women in Sports Awards. Vivian Lottering is the acting president of uh, Gauteng Sports uh, Confederation. Marissa Rose uh, representing the Gauteng Sport Arts, Culture and Recreation. Desiree Ellis is a Banyana Banyana coach. She's here with us this morning alongside Nom Samashangu, who is the USAP president and University Sports Africa president as well. Good morning. Regional Comfort Sports President, we welcome you this morning to our formal proceedings. The board members of the Gauteng Sports Comfort, thank you for your time for joining us this morning. Footballing Goals the board members, I see you. Good morning. Members of the media, thank you so much for coming on time this morning. Good morning to you and all our invited guests. It's really, really a privilege uh, for us to be together this morning. Thank you for honoring the invite of uh, the launch of the official Gauteng Women in Sports Awards, a project that started in 2018. And it started with the Ekuruleni Women in Sports Awards. And I really thought that is all it will be. Little did I know that um, Munira Ramatula had other ideas in growing the footprint of women in sports and ensuring that those in smaller regions, municipalities that are usually not recognized with the bigger awards, for example, the South African uh, Sports Awards, are recognized within their regions, within their communities. Those women that continue to uplift, encourage women within their regions. And it went from Ekuruleni Women in Sports Awards, City Bank came on board, which was the last one that we had, and Johannesburg came on board, and Twani Women in Sports Awards, as, long as, as well as the West Rand Women in Sports Awards. So this is the big one, culminating in all the regions coming together to celebrate the very women that give back to the communities. Um, usually not celebrated within their regions, within their communities, but we say we see your, wor your work, let the entire country officially see your work. I don't want to dive too much into that history. I will let uh, Munira Ramatula just take us through it um, as uh, she's going to take us through the history of why she thought it would have been a good idea to start something that is Women in Sports Awards. So on that note, I'd like to call on the footballing girls, the chairperson, She's also the chairperson of Women in Sports and Gauteng Sports Confederation, second vice president, Munira Ramatula. Morning, thank you very much. I think firstly we'll play a video on the history of the awards and then I'll come through, thanks. <laughs> Women in Sports Awards vision was actually born after I had won an award for Volunteer of the Year in 2017. So I wanted to go back to my community and to other communities to actually go back and try and empower other women because I felt that as much as I had won, um, there were so many other women who had done so much more than me and who had give, given up so much just to build women's sports, you know, whether it was within the province or within the country. Good day everyone. Thank you for allowing me to share the journey of the Women in Sports Awards. There's so much more to being recognized than just an award and recognition can be used to achieve different things. And top of my mind was achieving growth of grassroots um, development for girls in sport and also to get more women involved in sport. So I decided that, you know what, I wanted to run Women in Sports Awards at district level 
so that we could unearth new gems, number one. Number two, we could then activate girls' um, development on the ground, but also inspire and motivate more women to get involved within their district structures or the regional structures. Um, I put a proposal together, and the first person I contacted after I put the proposal together was Lebo Mutwebi, and I said to her, look, I have this idea, but I don't really know where to start and how and, and, and what to do, but this is the idea that I have, and I kind of put a proposal together and I explained to her what the proposal was all about and she got all excited and she's like, no, we can do this. And I was more excited by the fact that she said we. Um, and I said to her, you know what, the fact that you say we gives me so much hope and so much confidence that we can do this together. And then the next person I spoke to was uh, Santi Lamini, who was my business partner at the time. She was keen and happy and she, was, she says, you know what, I believe in um, the development of goals, so let's do this. The next person I contacted was Shanice Albertain and I said to her, look, um, you've always supported me in everything that I've done, so I think you would be the right person to get involved. This is a project that I'm looking at. And I mean, you know, she came with a huge risk and compliance background, which we kind of needed. And then the, the, the last person I think I got hold of um, that formed part of the, the project team was Nazim Matthews. We, I called him up and I said, look, this is the idea that I have. This is what I'd like to do. Um, I've already spoken to Nebu, I've spoken to Shanice and Sandile, so we kind of going to go ahead. We still need to speak to the stakeholders on the ground and we're going to go ahead with this. And he said, okay, um, I'm prepared to assist, but I'd also, if you put a sponsorship program um, together, let me see where I can assist with regards to that. Um, I then got hold of stakeholders on the ground, which is um, within the Kuruleni, and you know, I was met with that, you know, we don't have funds, we haven't budgeted for this. And I said to them at the time that it's not about the funding or the budget, it's about how do we come together to get this project off the ground and then start planning better for it, you know, as we move along. So as for Bowling Girls, we put a project team together, which consisted of Nebu Mutsuedi, um, Shoni's Albertain, Nazim Matthews, Zandile Lamini and Khoputsa Machunyani to then take on different roles in assisting in getting the project off the ground. The next um, person I got hold of was uh, Benny Mpatlele, who's the Secretary General of the Ekuruleni Sports Confederation, and that was in July 2018. So he arranged a meeting with the president of the Ekuruleni Sport Confederation, Mr. Vivian Lottering. And we had this meeting, and I think it was five minutes into the meeting, uh, when I started explaining what the project was about and why I felt it was important for us to run with this project, especially from a girls' development, a girls' sports development point of view on the ground and use this as kind of like a catalyst or kind of like a dangling a carrot so that federations can start getting involved and also dang dangling carrots to young girls and women who were involved with sports or who were thinking of either leaving or giving up but then, you know, would find some kind of hope in this. And uh, five minutes into the presentation, he said to me, you know what, uh, women in sports is one of our priorities. Uh, this looks like a great project. Let's get it off the ground. In 2018, with the help and support of the Ekuruleni Sports Confederation, we successfully launched the Ekuruleni Women in Sports Awards on the 1st of August. Uh, the first awards, we had 101 nominations that had come through from school sports and various federations. In 2019, we then went on to host the second edition of the Ekuruleni Women in Sports Awards. The main aim of these awards is to go back deep into the communities so that we not only recognize women and girls participating in sport, but individuals who are also raising the profile of girl sport. In 2020, during the pandemic, we decided that we wanted to expand the awards to other regions. And um, I had a chat with the Kuruleni Sports Confederation president to try and get involved and assist in speaking to the other federation presidents to get them involved and we had a meeting with Johannesburg and the Western Sport Confederation President and we then successfully launched Western Women in Sports Awards and the uh, Johannesburg Women in Sports Awards. Subsequent to that, uh, the Tswani Sports Confederation then got a hold of me and wanted to also be a part of this and also wanted to ensure that they were also recognizing and honoring women within their region and were also very instrumental in driving the process and assisting um, in getting the, the local government involved. And in October 2020, we then successfully launched the Tswani Women in Sports Awards.
January 2021, with the assistance of the Gauteng Sports Confederation and, and uh, the Department of Sports, Arts, Culture and Recreation, we then launched the City Bank Women in Sports Awards, thus making it then five regions that we have Women in Sports Awards. You know, the, the Sports Confederations have been very instrumental in driving this, in, including the Gauteng Sports Confederation, in driving the, the Women in Sports Awards, in driving that we ensure that we have Women in Sports Awards within every region. The support has actually been amazing. So now here we are, launching the Gauteng Women in Sports Awards. Congratulations once again to all our incredible winners of Women in Sports Awards. It's our passion that drives us and we believe in the empowerment of women in sport. We believe that women would, would be the only drivers for gender equality. For us, the Women in Sports Awards is it's, it's the culmination of events, you know, with everything else that we do. I'm so glad and I'm so happy to have been part of um, how it began and where it is now and the five regions that you've touched so, so far. Thank you so much. If you can just give us your thoughts on what to expect now and why the Gauteng Women in Sports Awards. Um, good morning, everybody. Thank you very much for um, being here with us this morning and helping us launch the Gauteng Women in Sports Awards. Um, before I start, I know Lebu has, but I'd also like to acknowledge a few people. Firstly, Ms. Luanile Simalani, I always, uh, whenever I get the chance, I bully her. <laughs> so, uh, the first vice president of SASCOC, the youngest vice president of SASCOC, and she's female. <laughs> I just thought I'd throw it in there, like, you know. Um, Mr. Vivian Lottring, the acting president of the Gauteng Sports Confederation. Marissa Rose, um, here on behalf of chief director, for Gauteng Department of Sports, Arts, Culture and Recreation. Um, Yassine Lombard, our engine at the Gauteng Sports Confederation. Ms. Desiree Ellis, South African female coach that has taken Banyana Banyana to the World Cup and also two times Africa Coach of the Year. Ms. Mm -hmm. Numsa Matlangu, <laughs> USA President mm -hmm. and University Sports Africa President. Female, first female, mm -hmm. hey? University Sports. I think you're also the first female to serve on the SAFE NEC. Yes. Yep, first female to serve on the SAFE NEC as well. So we have good women, you know, um, who work hard and who really raise the bar out there and who inspire us daily so that we can achieve more because they can. Um, the board members of the Gauteng Sports Confederation, regional presidents of confederations, members of the media and everybody else that is here, all protocol observed. If I missed you, it was not intentional. So I'd like to start my notes? <laughs> on um, you know, the Gauteng Women in Sports Awards. It, does, it doesn't feel real to be here because it's, it hasn't been a long journey. It's, it's actually been quite short for us to get here, but it feels like a long journey because we did so much in such a, such a short space of time that it feels like we've done it over 10 years. But this started three years ago. But you know, having said that, We've had immense support on the ground. We've had immense support from the Gauteng Sports Confederation um, and the regional sports confederations. So um, to be here today shows that you know, Gauteng is at the forefront. We have progressive leadership within the province who are at the forefront in driving women in sport and ensuring that women take their place um, in sport, So, which is excellent. Um, also, I'd like to just go through, as our awards are focused on three things, we are focused on your achievements, we focus on your community development, and we focus on your self-empowerment. Those are the three drivers or the three goals that we then sit or we put adjudicators together for to then adjudicate on the nominations received. Achievements, yes, are quite important, but because we feel that we need to create role models on the ground, it's important for us to put the community development element in it. And it really doesn't mean that you need to be running the streets every day, but it's like, what is it, whether you're a pro athlete, whether you're an administrator, what exactly is it that you are actually going out there and doing for your community so that you continue developing girls in sports or girls' participation in sports increases? And also self-development. Self-development is very important. Whether you're a coach, whether you are a technical official, whether you're an administrator, you've got to constantly be attending workshops, you've got to constantly be attending training, you've got to constantly empower yourself 
because thoughts evolve every day and you've got to be able to keep up. Our finalists today, um, are, we decided that once we've run the regional awards, we would take all the winners from each regional award, except the Sport Confed President's Awards, because those are nominated by the Sport Confed Presidents and the local municipalities. But every other category, we then take the winners, and the winners are now your finalists for the Gauteng Women in Sports Awards. In some categories, we have men, and I always get asked this question, so before I get asked today, I'm going to answer it. <laughs> Your sports presenter of the year, community sports presenter of the year, and community journalist of the year. The fact that there are women who are within that role doesn't necessarily mean that they are promoting other women. So for us, why we do have certain men within these two categories is because they are promoting women's sport. They are creating awareness around women's sport. They are creating platforms for women in sport, whether it's through their shows, whether it's having, uh, whatever it is within the media space, whether they're running social media pages and putting the focus on the women, that is why they are within those categories. Because we want more women to be out there in the media. We want exposure for, for women. We want exposure for women in sports. We want exposure for women in sports uh, programs so that communities become aware, but also young girls are also aware of what sporting codes are available and exist within their very own communities. The awards will be on the 26th of March in Santon. Um, all the finalists will be then notified as to, actually the finalists have already been notified and um, we'd like to actually have a beautiful ceremony for them. Of course, we have to be quite COVID compliant so that we'll have very limited numbers. As you can see today, we've had limited numbers as well. And all we want with our awards is that we want to create community role models who are not focused on trophies that they win or medals that they win. That is important. But we want them to go back into their communities and change lives within their communities because that is the only way we can continue to grow girls sports within our communities and we con can continue to have more women in leadership. We can continue to have more women participating in sport and we can continue having these awards across the country. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Munira, for those words. And I um, mean, the work that you've done with your team really, really is incredible. The fact that our communities, I feel like our women in sport and within the communities are now seen and they are heard. And these are perfect opportunities also to just uh, acknowledge them, to say thank you, we see your work. Because at the end of the day, we see them wearing the green and gold. Only then do we know that, oh, there is a Casta Semenya, but you don't even know where she comes from. Uh, you've never tracked a record. You don't even know the environment she comes from. But when they get to the airport, we're the first ones to say, yes, uh, this uh, athlete or the netballs uh, uh, players playing in a World Cup. But you don't even know where they come from and the circumstances that have enabled them and built them uh, to be the athletes that they are. But without wasting too much time, I'd like our panel to get right into it. Uh, and just tell us their thoughts on the Houting Women in Sports Awards. We do have the three, uh, two ladies and gentlemen on the panel. I'll start with yourself, uh, Marissa Rose. Uh, just uh, your thoughts on what to expect and from um, the Houting Sport Arts, Culture and Recreation's perspective on having women put on a pedestal, being celebrated and recognized. Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm gonna say all protocol observed. We have some, a lot of prominent people, but I think also more importantly, we have the media here today as well to ensure that these awards are um, shown everywhere and celebrated as well. I think from the Gauteng Department of Sport, Arts, Culture, uh, what we do basically, we send out an advert every year for um, structures and organizations to apply for, for funding. And this is one of the uh, funding proposals we received through the Sports Confederation and Footballing Goals. And um, this really aligns with currently what we're doing in the province because we also have the Gauteng Sport Awards, which we know is the best awards in the country. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> so um, when I... Um, first went to the, I think the 2019 awards, one of the things I said to Munira was, um, because at that time it was just Sikuruleni, and I mean, during COVID, 
you know, she's managed to ensure that every region has an award, which I think is quite uh, commendable. Uh, so what I also said to her was that we need to also start linking these awards with the Gauteng Sport Awards. It should filter into the Gauteng Sport Awards uh, because the, um, the outcomes of the two awards are, are, are the same, not even similar, it's the same. It's about honouring and recognising the people in sport in this province. And in particular, here yeah, we're looking at the women. But our categories speak to the categories that are in the women in sport, um, the Gauteng, I should say, Gauteng women in sport awards, which I think, you know, it, it resonates with what we as GPG want to achieve at the end of the day. So these awards also show that we're not working in silos. As a province, we're talking, we're talking with our Gauteng Sport Confederation around programs and projects that we need to do together as a province, because we cannot work in isolation of each other. Government, yes, we have the funding uh, for programs and projects, but that budget is being cut um, every year, especially in the sport um, sector. So we need that private uh, public partnerships to ensure that the programs that we have don't fall by the wayside, but that we continually to grow it. And this is one of those, you know, that we are uplifting to show that, yes, even we have COVID, but we can still recognize yeah. the, the, the sport men, women, even the media, um, our technical officials is, um, uh, in the province as well. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. That's really fantastic. And I, I'd also like to reiterate that this is not a popularity contest. Many awards, and, and I'm involved with many, um, it becomes a popularity contest. It becomes a, are you famous on social media, or popular on social media, how many followers you have, and how big of a persona you have. This is all about performance and what you do within the communities. Um, many names, you don't even get to hear about them. And had it not been for Sidibeng, Westrand, Swane, Johannesburg, and Ekuruleni, you would never know of some of these athletes that have equally represented South Africa um, in various stages, but because they had to fight it up amongst some popular athletes, they never get recognized. So this is also one of the reasons that I really, really do love working with the team within Footballing Girls, now with the Gauteng Sports Arts and Culture and, and Gauteng um, Confed, because we are uplifting the profile of women in sport across, hopefully, South Africa. On that note, I'd also like a, a word or two from um, the gentleman that's always there for us, the acting president of the Gauteng Sports Confederation, Vivian Lottery, just to give us his thoughts. The is it the thorn or the rose today amongst the... Is it, it's the thorn it's amongst the, the rose. Among is it the rose, rose amongst among the, the thorns? Thorn. Oh, okay, yes. I got it. <laughs> Good morning, sir. <laughs> Good morning to everybody. And again, all protocol observed. I must not be very careful that I do not say now what I want to say there, because I'm really scared to put me on the spot now. Lebo. But it is so nice to sit here today being involved from the start of this program to where it is today. As Manira mentioned, it took me five minutes, really five minutes, in a McDonald's restaurant in Waiteville, where she approached me and we discussed it. Always around food, Manira. Yes, always yeah. around food. <laughs> always around food. food. Um, her presentation was of such nature, the passion I saw in her, and the belief, the faith that she has in this program made me make that decision within five minutes. And I said, let's make it happen. And it was good to see, you know, um, as Sports Confederation, my background is, I'm from rugby. And in rugby, this organization, we are surrounded by men. I've experienced firsthand how successful programs was delivered by women that were appointed. But at the end of the day, it was the men walking around with the crowns. But the hard work was done by women. And I think it was about time that we had to do something for women. Because women all over the world, and I'm, I'm going to say this again when I do my little short, uh, short speech, all over the world has done extraordinary things. And it's up to us to make sure 
that we acknowledge and celebrate the achievements of women. As a confederation uh, at provincial level, we said, you know, this, this point of women empowerment is high on the agenda. Let's put the team together. Let's get Marina involved. Marina wasn't involved from the beginning. We co-opted her on the Sports Confederation be purely because of a, a passion, a drive, and experience that she's built up with this program to come and assist us at provincial level um, in making sure that we don't only look after our women in our districts, but also at provincial level. I'm very excited, very, very excited and proud uh, to see so many women being recognized. I wasn't aware until the Women in Sports Awards actually took place about the work that women does in other sporting codes other than rugby. Because my exposure was mainly rugby. But I was highly surprised with the amount of achievers that we saw in different, different sporting codes. I always said, if you want something done properly, and I'm saying there's a man, and I'm very proud to say it. If you want something done properly, appoint a woman to get it done. So thank you. Mr. Lawson, would you like to get into the formalities of your speech as well for this morning? Again, again, all protocol observed. And thank you very much for this opportunity. It's really a, a joyous uh, moment for me to stand here this morning. Um, joyous because if I look back in 2018 where we started, what we went through, and where we are now, I'm saying it's a joyous a celebration. I need to acknowledge before I said all protocol observed and, and, and Manira has already invited all the other people, but I need to acknowledge my presidents of a different districts. You know, without their support, these programs cannot be successful. Mr. Winston Mayer from Tswane, Mr. Vicky Magoo from Johannesburg and his absence Mr. Kruben uh, Palay that's not here today. Seri Bank, we do not have a structure. Myself, I'm wearing two caps. I'm also Ikru Rehni's president. Well done, guys, for the support. Thank you for your support in making this program successful. As I said earlier, women around the world does extraordinary things. And we need to, we need to uh, celebrate. Often, we forget to celebrate these achievements and recognize women. We at Gauteng, the province, we believe that women have the power to create, to nurture, and to transform. That is why we say women are the engines in enriching societies. If we overlook this laudable contributions that women do, it can result in a loss of confidence of women. And that is why it's important that we recognize and celebrate the achievements. And today I want to say to the awardees that's going to look at this, uh, the screening, remember, through this award, we'd like you to encourage to get more involved in your society. Remember, you inspire hundreds of females, young and old, through these awards, to become role models. You convey a very strong message that success has got absolutely nothing to do with gender. We, as a province, we need to honor you. We need to celebrate we need to respect and appreciate our women in Gauteng. Congratulations, Monira and your team. Congratulations for taking us from the road at Ikuruleni. And I, I'm standing here, I said two caps, but I gotta be proud. <laughs> Ikuruleni is the best region in Gauteng. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. But it started at Ikuruleni. Gauteng is the province of champions, man. Eh? And Ikuruleni, we make them. <laughs> but it started, Manira, in, in Ikuruleni, a long journey. And we are here 
where we are today. Congratulations. You and your team, you've put a lot of work in. Your team that's always with you, we really appreciate them. Thank you very much. Thank you to the Gauteng government, Marissa in, in particular. I don't, you know, it's a pity the HUD is not here today in the MEC. But that woman needs a special accolade for the support she has provided to our sports confederation and the programs that we run. I want us to give her a hand, really. We acknowledge you. Thank you to Yasin, our man in the engine room here at Gauteng. When we sit around the table and discuss programs, and specifically women in sport, which is high on the agenda, Yasin had no difficulty in making sure that he put structures in place and support structures in place to support Monira and the team uh, from the province. Thank you very, very much. Thank you for the, to the government. Um, we had a nice meeting the other day, and I may, if I may mention it, Yasin, with the HUD, and she committed that she'll make available, I don't want to say the money, the amount, otherwise Munira will ask for it, <laughs> but she'll make, she'll make available 10 rent for this program. All right, just 10 rent, <laughs> so that Munira don't know. But we want to say thank you, Marissa, please convey that message over, uh, Marissa, to the HOD and the MEC. We really appreciate their contribution in making sure that this program has become a success. To all our women winners, all the people that receive awards, um, you are champions, we honor you, we appreciate you, we respect you. Well done, may God bless you, and may you go from strength to strength. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you very much, Mr. Lottering, for those uh, words. I uh, absolutely love the fact that you said success has nothing to do with gender. Let's get right into our last speaker. She's the first of many things, including the first vice president of SASCOC, as well as the chairperson of Gender Equality Commission at SASCOC, that is Luanzi Le Similani. Just her thoughts as to why um, SASCOC also saw the, the need to partner up to support the initiative that is now Gauteng Women in Sport Awards. Thanks, Lebu. Good morning, everybody. Um, first of all, women are taking over. Uh, <laughs> the SASCOC board currently is majority female. First, first ever. Um, so we didn't just meet the constitutional requirement, we exceeded it. And that is what we are expecting from everybody. And initiatives such as this are what make those things possible. You know, uh, myself, I come from a community, started in the ranks managing teams in my local community for my sports coach. So we all have to come from somewhere. And positive reinforcement, encouragement from home. And sometimes home is your community. Because if you don't get that positive encouragement from home, you don't leave home. You mm. know, so everybody walking in on an opening ceremony of an Olympic Games, all of those athletes came from a home that encouraged them. And these t type of um, events and initiatives are critical. There's an old statesman in the United States named Abraham Lincoln who used to say that he likes to see one proud of their place, but he loves to see their place proud of them. Mm. And that is so critical for us because other than eating superfoods and going to gym and all of the technical stuff that a Desiree will put you through <laughs> uh, and all of these fitness things, positive reinforcement is important. Acknowledgement is important. And if you, you guys on the grassroots, you guys in the regions, in the district, in the provinces are not doing that. They are never going to walk at World Cup stages. They are never going to be Olympic athletes. And it is critical for us, and that is why um, we support it as, as SASCOC, also because we want you guys to, to continue providing and reinforcing the, the female takeover that is happening in sport in this country. And we are not afraid, we are not ashamed, and we are actually quite encouraged that, you know, I heard you naming the district presidents. I think I, I need to go motivate some women to contest you guys at these elections. <laughs> just to make you sweat a little, just a little <laughs> sweating. <laughs> but even in that circumstance, you guys are still ensuring that women in sport is enforced and is pushed and is driven, even in the midst of, of male um, leadership. Mm. So that for me is my address and hopefully we'll be invited on the 26th. <laughs> Well, yeah, we, we. you see, I get bullied. She wasn't lying. 
but 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 if if we do not listen to the people whom we lead, then then there's no need for us to be in leadership at all. So I think it is very exciting. Congratulations that you've ex extended it around the district. I must say, uh, one of the you know very few provinces that you're very lucky. Everywhere, every time you invite me to anything, your government is there. It's, it's very interesting to see. And even at my sports code, we know Marissa. So we, we won't leave it at a conflict level. So I do think you are fortunate to have the a great government support structure um, in Kauteng. So congratulations. You, you need to definitely keep it and don't leave it here. Don't hold it here, Mr. President. I'm challenging you. Send it to your colleagues in the other provinces and, and expand this thing because good work cannot stay stagnant in one, in one place and in one position. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Alonzi. Right, without further ado, the time is running out. Let's get right into it and have a look at the finalists of the inaugural, the big one, the Gauteng Women in Sports Awards. Here they are. The finalists for the Gauteng Women in Sport Awards are In the volunteer category, the finalists for the Gauteng Women in Sport Awards are Lucretia Orkamp from Ekurleni, Anke Langehorst from Johannesburg Mavis Zgudla from Tswane Natasha Fender from the West Rand and Duduzi Lemsane from Sidibeng the finalists in the coaching category for the Gauteng Women in Sport Awards are Jeanne Marie Kutzer from Johannesburg, Katja Brewer from the West Rand, Bulani Mutung of City Bang, Chiara Picker of Ekurileni, and Jenny van Dijk of Swane. The technical official finalists for the Gauteng Women in Sport Awards are Bonzo Makukwane from the West Rand. Roberta Biagioni of Johannesburg, Mpomakoba of Tswani, and Buisile Ramekwani of Ekuruleni. The finalists of the Gauteng Women in Sport Awards from the Administrator category are from Tswani, Chila Mulaudzi, Ekuruleni, Annie Killian, Johannesburg, Elizabeth Mabusela, Sidibeng, Fakazile Nkiteng, and the West Rand, Susan De Silva. The finalists from the School Sport Athlete of the Year are Courtney Wesley from Eguruleni, Bukomu Sosichele from Sidibeng, Tatum Rossio from Tswani, Nombulelo Fila from the West Rand, and Kajol Naidu from Johannesburg. The finalists for the Gauteng Women in Sport Awards for Sports Women of the Year are Danielle van Veek from the West Rand, Hilda Machaia from Tswani, Nuru Minyuku Guto from Johannesburg, Johanna M. Geyer from Ekurleni, Precious Nontanta Damini from City Bing. The finalists for the Sportswoman with a Disability for the Gauteng Women in Sport Awards are Basitana Skosana from the West Rand, Zintlem Vukela from Tswani, Sandra Kumalo from Ekurleni, Asive Gilifile from Johannesburg. The finalists for the Gauteng Women in Sport Awards for Sports Achiever of the Year are Kajal Naidu from Johannesburg, Lee Yordan from Ekuruleni, Mahota Lipota from City Bang, Tovi Fansel of Tswane, and Hailey Bothma of the West Rand. The finalists of the Gauteng Women in Sport Awards for Community Sports Radio Presenter Debucho Daniel Sihlangu of Ekuruleni, Itumeleng Banda of Johannesburg, Prince Pule of Tswane. The finalists for the Gauteng Women in Sport Awards are for community sports journalists are Adele Lowe from the West Rand, Bekani Ndebele of Tswane, Mbumi Manyisi of Johannesburg, Sharon Mdaka of Ekuruleni. The finalists of the Gauteng Women in Sport Awards for Federation of the Year, Johannesburg Metro Chase. Falker Rugby Union, 
Sidibeng Netball Federation, Gauteng North Figure Skating, Merafong Netball Federation. Finalists of the Gauteng Women in Sports Awards for Community Project of the Year, SA Rural Rugby Development Program, Blue Bulls Girls Development, Youth Love Sport Project, Peace Lovers Football and Netball. Finalists of the Gauteng Women in Sport Awards for School Team of the Year, Kulasizwe Primary School from Ekuruleni. Waterclue of Girls Under-18 Chess Team from Tswane. St. Mary's First Squad Rowing Team from Johannesburg. And Itumeleng Special School from the West Rand. The finalists for the Gauteng Women in Sports Awards for Team of the Year. Pirates Women Rugby Team from Johannesburg. TUT Ladies Football Team from Tswane. West Rand Chess Team from the West Rand. Pelang LSCN School from Ekuruleni. The finalists for the Gauteng Women in Sports Awards for Club of the Year. Tux Netball, JVW Football Club, Pirates Rugby Club, Morgan Moss Karate. The finalists for the Gauteng Women in Sports Awards for Sponsor of the Year are... Consolidated Otto from Ekuruleni, Mastercard South Africa from Johannesburg, Spa from Tswane, and Krista Black from Westrand. And without wasting too much time, uh, and I'd like to call on a former winner for the South African Sports Awards uh, many a times in her category, Virginia Mabazo, who is now a board member of the Gauteng Sport Confederation, to give us her vote of thanks. Um, today, it's a very exciting day as a woman in sport myself. Um, this proves that as a province we are growing and uh, encouraging women participation in sports in all regions and meeting the mandate of the country to grow women participation. And I must say um, thank you to the federations that get their constituents members right and appointing women in various uh, positions for us to have this day possible today. Um, without any further ado, I would like to say thank you to the Department of Gauteng Sports Arts, Culture and Recreation for partnering and adopting this vision together with footballing girls and for uh, women in, in the province, in all regions, to be celebrated. So thank you so much and as a member of Gauteng Sports Confederation, myself as a woman, we always preach the women representation gospel and we have achieved um, that mandate in terms of representation on the board. So thank you to the um, Gauteng um, Sports Confederation and all board members present today and uh, footballing for girls and more importantly the finalists of uh, these awards women in sports um, from all regions as i said um, it's because federation have appointed these women to for us to be here today and um, federation all represented here today and more importantly for this day to be possible and the setup here today m and m uh, marketing Sportsnet TV production for this uh, coverage uh, possible today and the media at large available here today. Media plays a huge role in telling women um, stories and covering all the stories across um, the provinces. So continue to do so, continue to follow women wherever they are and continue to highlight um, our, all the women achievement. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you so much for that. Uh, thank you to everyone for being with us this morning. Um, just highlighting over 1,041 nominations across the five regions from Twane to Sidibeng to the West Rand 
Johannesburg um, and Ekuruleni, culminating now in the Gauteng Women in Sports Awards. So thank you so much for showing your time, honoring the invite, uh, in us celebrating the Women in Sports Awards and us launching what is now going to become an annual uh, Gauteng Women in Sports Awards. And looking forward to also making sure that other provinces join in in celebrating women athletes. And I, I hope one day we can get away with calling women athletes women athletes. It's something that I am technically trying to educate myself to say it's an athlete. Um, we never say men in sports awards. I don't know of such an award. I don't know of a men athlete. It, a player is a soccer player. Uh, but when we refer to women, it's a female soccer player a female tennis player. Um, an athlete is an athlete is an athlete. Uh, the two things that are, different, that are different is gender. So let's uh, continue to celebrate our athletes for the work that they've done, the federations, and everybody else that has been acknowledged. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone. Have yourselves a great morning. <laughs>